Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com and this demonstration blog is using WordPress version 3.0.1 along with the thesis theme version 1.8 and you need to be using some version of the thesis theme in order for this video to apply to you. Now if we look in the upper right hand corner we can see the picture with the hot air balloons. Now the section that this picture is in is called the multimedia box in the thesis theme. It's right above sidebar one and sidebar two. Now if I go up here and click refresh uh, in the in my browser, I click on the refresh button, what it will do, the multimedia box will cycle through about six images. It will rotate through images that have already been pre-installed with the thesis theme. Okay, now what I'm going to teach you in this video is how to add a YouTube video in the multimedia box instead of using these rotating images. So what I'm going to do is click on this tab in my browser to bring me to YouTube. I've already selected out um, a song called Windy by the association. So once you scroll down, what you need to do is click on Embed and then I would deselect, just click in the white space to deselect that highlighted area. Now under here you can see that it's purple. If I click there it turns to red, pink, orange, green. I'm going to click purple because that's the color for the border for the video that I'm going to embed in my WordPress blog. Leave these three things unchecked. Okay, now for the width I'm going to put in 410 for the pixels. Now when I type in 410, I'm now I'm going to deselect it, automatically gives me a height so that the video, the height and width stays proportional. Okay, now all the code is ready. I'm going to click up here and drag this down so I can see all the code. Now all I have to do is left click in this area one time and it automatically selects all of the code. But I'm going to click over here, just say for some reason it didn't work like that. What you would want to do is just right click, go down and click on select all, and then you're going to right click again and you're going to copy. Now we're just going to paste this code into the dashboard of my blog. To get to the dashboard of my blog, I'm going to click here in this tab where I've already logged in to the Jim's Max GXL marketing team. I'm going to scroll down. Where it says thesis, I'm going to click on design options. I'm going to scroll down until I see multimedia box default settings where it says rotating images I'm going to click and it says embed video here you click in here it becomes gold or yellow I'm going to click here right click and then left click on paste if you want to take a closer look at the code and you feel comfortable with the code you can do that okay I'm gonna deselect so the color goes back to kind of a pale color. Click the big S save button and we are done. That is it. We've added a YouTube video to the multimedia box. So let's check out our handiwork. I'm going to click on this tab up here and the browser brings me back to the blog. You can see over here we still have the rotating images because I have not updated the browser page. So I'm going to click on reload or refresh depending on your browser and you can see there's the video. Let's click it and see if it's playing. And it is. Okay, now how did I know to choose 410 as the width of this YouTube video? I just shut the sound off so you can't hear it. But anyways, that's because the multimedia box is right above sidebar 1 and sidebar 2. So if you can figure out the width of sidebar 1 added to the width of sidebar 2, you will get the approximate width of the multimedia box. Okay, how do you do that? Let me show you. Click here back into the dashboard. We stay right on thesis design options. You can see I'm still at thesis design options where it says site layout. You click the plus to the right of columns, scroll down. Um, right here it says sidebar 1, 195 pixels. Sidebar 2, 190 pixels, 95 pixels. You add the two numbers together for the two sidebars you end up with the number 390 pixels. Now before I recorded this video I already tried that number out and it was a little small for the video. It didn't quite fill up the multimedia box so I just added 20 pixels to make it 410 and that's what I used and I'm gonna click back here and you can see it works like a charm. That's the the video.
So that's how you add or embed a YouTube video into a multimedia box with the thesis theme version 1.8.